Hello everybody, Antoine here for Zim Architecture and welcome back to the channel. So today we're still in the version of the Pass of Versailles that I built recently, a few days ago, and that I think you really enjoy because uh, I got a lot of comments and a lot of views on this video. So thank you for being here and for supporting my creation. And today we are building some rooms in the interior. So as you read in the title, we're mainly building the king's bed chamber as you can see it right now um i had some troubles with recording this part uh, i mean it was almost done and my recording um software just stopped working and of course i lost all the records so i use a technique that i use when i have this trouble um actually i destroy everything part by part and then i just used the uh, undo button and you got it back as it was. So I'm sorry that you can see in detail how I did it, but I think it's a good overview and I love the effect of all the objects appearing after one another. And so, yeah, it's, it's okay, I think. Um, I built the bed chamber, but also some other rooms. Uh, just next to it, I built like a music room or a drawing room. I just want you to be aware that this that these rooms are inspired by actual rooms in the past, but they're not accurate in terms of decoration, proportion, um, where they're located in the past, except the King Bed Chamber, which is on the exact on this exact location in the past. But for example, the music room, there is no music room just next to the King's bedroom, so it just something inspired by Versailles, but it, that is not really accurate. But um, the idea actually, in this past a lot, I have a lot of space, so I think when I will have to create an historical room using Felix Hander custom content, I will probably build it um, in this pass because um, I think it's cool to build more and more rooms and in some month or even years, I will have like a fully furnished pass, which is pretty cool. And by the way, I only furnish like five rooms and the palace is already worth more than one million to million. So imagine when it will be done. And actually, I think my computer won't be able to handle it. Like I think my game will crash. But anyway, it's still working and in addition to this music room, I also built um, a room inspired by a real room, which is for real next to the king's bedroom. It is called um, Cabinet du Conseil, which is actually a room where the king met his ministers to take great decision about um, the kingdom. There was there were meeting every day in this room, like uh, just after the king woke up, he ate something, and then he went to this room where his minister were waiting for him and he could take decisions. So uh, now we have three rooms, the bed chamber, the council room, the music room, and also if you go on the first floor, we'll see a bit later, I built so-called vestibule de marbre, which is actually um, connected to the marble courtyard, so this is the main hall, if you want, the main entrance, which is actually not really spectacular. It's quite a small room, a small space, uh, which is really luxurious because there are a lot of mar marble, a lot of beautiful elements, but it's not something huge with a 10 meters high um, ceiling. It's something quite normal. And just after this room, you have the so-called uh, lower gallery, which is actually the gallery located under the Hall of Mirrors. And this gallery have a direct access on the garden, which is pretty nice because you have a beautiful view in the gardens and on the surroundings. And this gallery is really different from the rest of the palace because it's only made of stone, uh, of kind of white, late yellowish stone, which is really elegant. And there's actually not much decoration it's really bland if i can say and there's only a few um statues antique statues that are totally wonderful and that's it and you have to go through this gallery to visit uh louis the 15th daughter's apartment uh which are sumptuous rooms um and fun fact 
just uh, before Louis the Fifteenth created the um, rooms for his daughters, there was there the so-called bath apartments, which were a succession of rooms built by Louis the Fourteenth, only made of marble, uh, with uh, some not jacuzzis, but almost, you know, that there were some inner pools, which is really modern, I think, for uh, this time. And it was a bit like um, Roman bath, you know, and Louis XIV liked to go there with his mistress or some good friends, if I can say. And this is something that disappeared now, and we only have drawings or um, yeah, drawings actually. We only have drawings about this uh, of these rooms, and this is really fascinating. And this is what I like with Versailles. There are always parts that still exist or that doesn't exist anymore, and it's a palace that lived. It's really a living palace. It's a place that changed through the years, that was transformed, that some rooms were turned into other rooms, and it's absolutely fascinating to study how the palace changed through the years. I think I told you pretty much everything about what I'm doing in this video and now I would like to thank you all for being here because a few days ago we reached a new milestone on the channel, we are now more than 9000, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's huge, I never thought I could reach such a big amount of followers and we're on our way to the 10,000 subscribers, which is unbelievable, <laughs> if I can say. Um, so thank you all for being here, for watching the videos, for reacting in the comments, for giving me new ideas and just for being here actually, even the people who are not commenting or anything, thank you just for watching, for being here, for supporting me and yeah, I'm really thankful, that's all I can say, I think I'm thankful and thank you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I really did. Uh, so if you liked it, don't forget to give me a big thumb up. To share the video if you want, that would be fantastic. Um, to react in the comments, because I always love to read your comments. And I will see you next time. Bye!